Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is the 10th or 11th test flight. I say test flight, but really I was mostly playing around. And um, this is just after something has gone horribly wrong with the flight. Namely, I tried to drop the first stage out the back and... Oh, have we... Oh, I, I turned off the engines. Um, that was a bad idea. Uh, yeah, so as evidenced by the fact that I'm flying half a plane, uh, we've lost a significant portion of the plane. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, jeez, that was a terrible idea. Uh, alright, alright. I'm gonna try and have them survive this. Ooh, seven? Is seven the right key? No, it's eight. No, it's nine. Shit. Okay, alright, alright. Thought, nope, pull. Damn! Fucking... That's not gonna pull up in time. Oh! Yeah. So, this is the previous test flight. <laughs> I decided to uh, just fly from the cockpit and not, and not really care about how close the ground was, and I figured, you know, I'll probably crash this if I'm not paying attention, which I wasn't. And then I was like, hmm, the ground seems to be coming close. Pull up! And then I switched to external view just in time to see the uh, bottom of the plane smack into the ground. And the rest of it blew up and is all that debris you see off in the distance. The interesting thing is, uh, the cockpit and the first cargo area survived and slid along quite a distance away from everything else, away from where I actually landed about almost a kilometer back, maybe longer, I don't know, there's some, well that debris is from another crash, oh that's, that's all from the one that I was just at. Okay, so we slid about half a kilometer, uh, probably actually a little more considering that all the debris was moving forward, so these farthest away pieces of debris just happen to be the ones that slowed down first, they're not actually where we crashed, but we, we crashed at least half a kilometer away and slid along the ground at velocities above the braking tolerance for both of these parts and somehow here we are so I just left it there so that I could show you guys that because it's pretty miraculous that this actually survived and um but yeah thanks for watching as always this is one of the shortest videos I've ever made see you in space Okay, I lied. Here's another quick little video, because this is what I was actually testing just before I did that. And the test here is taking off with the front landing gear. Oh, oh, broken. Oh, shit. That almost worked. That actually almost worked, even when things broke. Oh, wow. Wow. Ha, <laughs> ha. Look at that. Look at that flying wing. Oh, uh, it's just majestically flying away. Oh, uh, this is... I'm gonna do that again because we almost took off even though... Even after braking stuff, we almost took off. Fire the engine. Fire the other engines. Pull up, pull down. Pull up, pull down. Make the landing gear kind of break and glitch. Oh, it went through. It went through. Something blew up and... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on. X. X. Woo! Unfortunately, the cockpit did just explode. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, don't fall out. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. Oh, it didn't explode. Awesome. Yes. So, that is how we do. That is how we do. <laughs> Uh, two pieces of upside down landing gear. They're the ones that survived. Some other stuff on the runway. Quite a spectacular explosion. Let's do it again. Alright. Firing the engines. Doing the same thing. Hopefully we'll take off this time. Don't know yet. Oh, oh. I'm actually pushing down as hard as I can. Ooh, oh, oh, there's the glitch. Ooh! We're up in the air, we're up in the air, we're up in the air, we're out of control, we're not completely out of control. Alright, so, this is actually a fairly similar situation to the one we found ourselves in before, and it's uh, not a good situation to be in. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way for me to see where the center of lift and center of mass is while in flight, 
I can see that our center of lift is slightly ahead of our center of mass though it looks like, ever so slightly. So let's see, what can I do about that? Um, center of lift is ahead of center of mass, so we need more mass up front and less mass behind. Uh, let's see, okay, first of all, would dumping the entire center of everything work? I don't know, but we are going to dump this. We're going to try dumping this rear. Uh, I didn't, apparently it didn't register that right click. All right, we're going to decouple this and hope that uh, we survive it. Did it, did it. Oh, it just cleanly slid out. Okay. All right, so we're going quite fast now, so I'm going to go ahead and throttle down because I think we can do all right. And, um, you know, it's interesting because I just realized, because this, this plane does have uh, several engines, which means we could use differential thrust to fly it if all else fails. Um, if I could use differential thrust properly. And by differential thrust, I primarily mean turning off engines, not really the true definition of differential thrust. But yeah, um, I'm actually going ahead and using that already because I can see that we're not pulling up. I'm pulling up as hard as I can and we're still falling. Uh, which is a big problem. In fact, I think we're going to need to drop more cargo because it looks like it looks like we're not going to be able to hold ourselves up like this. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we can drop the uh, second stage here. There we go. Okay, dropped and exploded. All right, we're going to keep the f third stage in here, and we're flying fairly well. We're having, we're, you know, obviously we're having some problems flying because this is a. Uh, craft that's gone a bit awry. However, we are flying well enough, I think, to attempt to turn around. We could also go to try to land on the island runway for ad added challenge. In fact, I, uh, because this turn is taking so long, I think I will do just that. Just because I can. Or maybe can't. I don't know. That remains to be seen, really. But at least this video got longer and more interesting. Am I right? So the, th the key thing to worry about in a situation like this is your yaw control because in a situation like this, I don't have any vertical stabilization. These engines have thrust vectoring and that's really the only reason we're still able to fly this. If they didn't have thrust vectoring, I wouldn't have any vertical stability, meaning that the craft would yaw side to side to a certain degree and it would be uncontrollable and that would lead to our deathness. But as you can see, when I do this, you can see those engines go side to side a little bit, and that's because they have gimbal capability. And that is basically what's keeping us alive at this point. And so we should be able to actually land this, it looks like, because we are actually have fairly good control, even though, you know, it's massively broken. We're doing all right. Uh, thank goodness there was no one on the mini Apollo in there. And actually, there won't be, when I actually finally do the real launch for this, there won't be anyone in there. And that's simply because... That's simply because it's cargo, it's not crew. And also, so if I have to dump it in an emergency, it's fine. And basically, I'll take one of the four people in the cockpit here and transfer them into the Apollo in space if, you know, when I actually do that. Um, we're having some trouble pulling up again, looks like. No, we're, we're, we're doing all right. Um, we're still off from where we should be. Like, I'm a bit worried about this final bit of turning here we gotta do. Because we gotta, we gotta turn to land on the runway. And we're, we're aimed at the place instead of the runway. Which is not, not a good place to be aimed at. And I don't know the actual altitude that this runway is at. So I can't, you know, just be like, oh, we're at this altitude. Okay, we're fine. I guess I'll learn this time, and then in future crashes, I mean landings, I'll be okay. Okay, cut the engines, bounce, slide a bit, slide a bit, no vertical stability, no vertical stability, and the wing didn't even touch the ground. It came very, very close though, and we have managed to land a crippled aircraft. Something I forgot to mention in the other videos with this aircraft, the other two videos at this point, what should I name it? It doesn't have a name. 
Thanks for watching. As always, see you in space. And Sherlock is clapping. Well, he was, and and so is Fredman. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Jam. This is the tenth or eleventh test flight. I need to move the window over to my other monitor. Oh yeah, stop.